daybreak on Entoto Hill, a picture of peace and tranquility. Situated in Addis Ababa, the Ethiopian capital, it's the city's highest point, with the peak lying 3,000 meters above sea level. The area is populated by eucalyptus trees that were imported from Australia when the city was founded by Emperor Menelik II nearly 130 years ago. Women collect firewood from here before carrying it to the capital's markets to sell. Known, ironically, as the lung of Addis Ababa, the lack of oxygen at this altitude makes it an ideal training ground for Ethiopia's sport of choice, distance running. Dozens of budding champions come here every day with the hope of one day being able to represent their country on the grandest sporting stages. It's amidst this environment that track legends Haile Gebre Selassie and Kenanisa Bekele worked on their world-beating levels of stamina. 20 minutes away from this running sanctuary lies the Kenanisa Bekele Stadium in Sululta. When Transworld Sport came to town, we encountered a group of world-class athletes preparing for the upcoming athletic season, the outstanding talent being 24-year-old Genzebe Dibaba. Hailing from Bekoji, the same town as Bekele, Dibaba is well aware of Ethiopia's distance running heritage. Athletics is the most popular sport here. It's also the sport in which we've had most success. So we're very focused on producing great track athletes. Whilst Ethiopia as a nation has excelled on the track, the success of Genzebe's family has been nothing short of extraordinary. Her eldest sister, Ejigayeu, is a former Olympic silver medalist. Another sister, Tirunesh, is a three-time Olympic and five-time world champion. And her cousin, Deratu Tulu, is a double Olympic champion. Family rivalries don't come much more intense than this. We're a close family, but when it comes to sport, we do like to distinguish ourselves from one another. My older siblings have had the chance to make a name for themselves, and they have gone on to win worldwide recognition. My dream was always to be like them. The only time Tiranesh and I took to the track together was when I was a junior. I haven't had the chance to compete against her recently. In sport, you don't get any favours from siblings or relatives. On the track, we are all rivals and we all want to win. Genzebe excelled in the junior ranks where she won back-to-back -back world cross-country championships as well as the 5,000 meters world title. In 2010, her transition to the seniors saw her switch focus to the 1,500 meters. Dibaba won her first senior title at the World Indoor Championships in 2012 and looked poised for an assault on the Olympic 1500 meters title at London 2012 until a hamstring injury suffered during a heat put her out of the competition. But I'm the simulation. My favorite distance is the 1500 meters. It requires a lot of speed and explosive power, which resulted in me getting quite a few injuries. So now I have opted to switch back to the 5,000, but I'd still say the 1500 metres is my favourite. <laughs> Genzebi's coach, Jama Adan, is a former Olympian himself, having competed over 1500 metres at the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics. He took over coaching duties for Genzebe after the London Olympics and has overseen her meteoric rise since that time. She really works very hard. That's it. And she's always in focus and determined. And she's really maturing and growing in each year. Last year saw the high watermark of Genzebi's career to date. In the space of two weeks in February, she broke three world records, a feat only previously achieved by all time greats Jesse Owens and Usain Bolt. Genzebi broke those records in three distinct disciplines, becoming the first athlete in history to do so. It was really back-to-back, -back. it was very high achievement and we were a little bit disappointed that the things didn't go well outdoors in last year. 
uh, tried to address that in last year. She had a little injuries, not, not seriously, but I think now she's maturing and, and we figure out we need more mileage to keep the strength going. And see what she did this year in, in indoor 5000, that was incredible also. So I'm really looking forward uh, to have a to have a win the world title and also maybe challenge her sister recording the 5000. In 2014, I performed well, particularly at the beginning of the season. I was so happy to break those records over such a short period. It was a special time for me, and I was absolutely ecstatic. With world records seemingly under threat every time Genzebe takes to the indoor track, one would expect her outdoor performances to be similarly impressive. However, she is yet to transfer her record-breaking performances to the outdoor circuit and is setting her sights on rectifying that anomaly this year. It is strange because here at home, I practice outdoors. I only compete indoors internationally, but still manage to achieve good results. I think that in outdoor competitions, I haven't done so well because I've used up too much nervous energy and become tired. I've made a few adjustments this year, so I'm looking forward to achieving similar results outdoors as I have indoors. <laughs> Dibaba signalled her intent for this season at a road race in California in March, where she ran the second quickest 5K of all time, giving notice to her rivals that she's ready to make history on the outdoor circuit. Last month, Genzebe won the prestigious Laureus Sportswoman of the Year Award, suggesting that she's now emerging from her sister's shadow. That's no mean feat, considering that Tiranesh Dibaba is regarded as one of the greatest distance runners in history. I used to be known as Tiranesh's sister, but that time has passed now, as I've been able to carve out my own place in history. I have established my name both here and internationally. I have fans from both within and outside of my sport, and I hope to continue attracting new ones. Jama has a close bond with all of his athletes, and the high calibre of the squad helps motivate each of them. This tight-knit group also stick together off the track at family and social occasions. We join them for a night out in Addis. I'm very close with Selashi and also with Trinish, sister, all the sister and also the family, most of the family, I'm very close. And they call me an uncle, as a matter of fact, they don't call me a coach. So <laughs> I'm part of the family now. And she have a great respect for me and I respect her as a very hardworking athlete and very disciplined also as well. So really, we have a very, very uh, good relationship going. <laughs> The stream of talent from the Debaba household shows no signs of abating. Younger sister Anna is a promising talent and has hopes of emulating her illustrious siblings. But with Tiranesh out of action following the birth of her first child in March, the focus is now on Genzebe to assume the mantle of the family's leading athlete. I have a huge task ahead of me at this year's World Championships in China. In the past, I haven't managed to achieve a good result. I've taken on my sister's role as she's not competing at the moment, so this year I have to work hard and make my country proud. 2020, I think the Olympic Games, she would like to achieve what her sister achieved and win the two gold, like a tourist rubber in Beijing. Given her current rate of progress, it appears there's little to stop Genzebe de Belba from continuing to rewrite the history books. Give it up. And there's every chance she could emerge as one of the stars of this year's World Championships. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.